Once you learn the most powerful and amazing modeling technique, surface modeling, you will be able to fix any problem you encounter in the modeling process. And in this tutorial, we will have a deeper look how to fix fillet issues and create really perfect, astonishing fillets with surface modeling. And if you want to learn everything about surface modeling and create absolutely amazing designs, which will transform your skills to completely new levels, always feel free to check out first link in the description. You will find all of the information about my courses and let's directly start with this problem solving tutorial. If you want to follow along and learn all of those techniques, second link in the description, you can just download this uh, file, so do that now. Yeah, so the problem is we can't give this edge a fillet because yeah, it's just too complex here and yeah, also this whole lofting, so even if you give it a loop, you just can't loft it, you can't chamfer it, nothing, it will always break. Then also you can't give here fillets or chamfers, but we need it everywhere, right? Because yeah, we want it smooth and professional. And one more problem is if we give here this inner edge a fillet, so let yeah, or a chamfer. So you see, we are getting really crazy results. So here it's too thin and yeah, you see this is just not what we want to do. So let's fix all of those three issues. And yeah, I would just show you like really, really advanced, but really, really fun and cool techniques. And yeah, I hope you learned something. So let's start by selecting this first whole edge which we want to give fillet and we will just duplicate that loop and we have a curve and now we will rebuild this curve and we go to points and make huge amounts so 222 because right now it looks a little bit yeah wonky so let's go press ok so we have a new curve with a lot of points and now comes really the magic part so if we give it a pipe so we press p and give a section size of let's start two so yeah fillet size very important in design so this outer one is i want to give it a little bit more so okay maybe 1.5 so this is a little bit thicker and the one inside a little bit thinner so let's press ok let's press two delete that edge in the inside and now so if you have a surface then it's pretty simple you can just select this whole main surface here Shift click this pipe, Q, and now just subtract union that. Press OK. And now you see we have a hole. But the thing is, this hole, as you see, is everywhere the same distance and size. And that will, our fillets will just look so, so, so much cleaner and better. <laughs> but now you might think, okay, how to, how to create those fillets. So maybe you might think, okay, alt click, shift, alt click those edges and loft. But yeah, this is very complex here. It doesn't really work. And also, yeah, we want to give here some fillets. So we can give actually this fillets now. So because now we can give this fillets because it just ends in nowhere. So it's not a problem. So let's give here a nice little fillet. So before we go and cut the surface here. So yeah, this very smooth, sharp one, very, very cool. And the same, yeah, let's do the same here. And let's try again, shift alt, shift alt, loft, but you see it's just <laughs> definitely too complex. So we have to do it manually and I absolutely love those exercises. So we need everywhere the same points because what we will do is just, we will select one by one, press L, loft it, so let me join that so you see what's happening. If we join that, okay, <clears throat> it's pretty flat so you don't see it, but if we do it, uh, let's say here, um, okay, actually let's do it. So select the surface and control R to give it here an additional cut. So every, we need the same amount of yeah, points at those edges to loft them clean in a clean way. So select the surface, control R, bring it here. And now if you select this edge and this edge and press L, you see G1, it's exactly what we want, okay. And if we connect everything and press J, you see we have an absolute beautiful fillet. And the same here, so because yeah, this is pretty uh, flat angle, so that looks like that, but it's 
yeah, it's just beautiful. So let's continue. And I like to start with the easy parts, with the long parts. And yeah, just a little pre a tip. Always start with the long parts, like those ones here, because that will just cause uh, fewer problems most of the time. So loft it. G1, you see it's working. Let's go here to this long part. And here we have already be a little bit cautious because yeah, it stretches here on the right. But let's try uh, G1. And you see it's not really what we want. So what I will just do is select this surface here, Control R, and just give it here a nice cut. And now it's just a little bit cleaner. So yeah, you see G1. And that looks absolutely beautiful. And now let's see what we can do. Okay, so now we have to select four object mode, select all of those surfaces or sheets, press J. So we have one sheet and let's close first those holes here. So press two and alt click and patch it and G1 here and G1 here, basically everywhere G1. And bam, oh guys, look. This is, this is so, so beautiful. And we haven't even given the inner side to fill it. So let's continue here with this hole. Alt click, patch it, tap G1. And oh, guys, look, this is so beautiful. Yes. Yeah, so let's go this one. This should be okay. Simple. Okay. Might get some problems. So let's just try patch it, tap G1. And yeah. So. That looks pretty clean. Yeah, it's, uh, we could do this here a little bit better, but for now it's fine. Or uh, no, actually guys, let's do it correct. So <laughs> why I'm doing this tutorial to show you those kind of techniques. So let's go back and let's select this thing here. And you see, it's just a little bit too, again, too stretchy. So uh, shift X deleted. Select this face, control R and give it more here closer to this edge, a new edge. And now loft those again with G1. You see everything is fine. Again, object mode, select everything here, press J. And yeah, you see now it's just a little bit cleaner. It should look better. Alt click, uh, patch, tap. And guys, look at this. This is just beautiful. It looks Look at this fillet. I mean, it's not, yeah, 100%, but look, it's, it's transitioning two fillets perfectly into, into this way. Yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful. So let's go back here and continue. We have some stuff to do. So alt click. That should work. Let's try G1 and oh, guys, this look, this sharpness and I just love this. I don't know. It's look, this looks perfect. This piece here. It's perfect, like literally. And yeah, oh, it's so much fun. All right, guys. So let's go and do this inside part here. So it's almost the same because yeah, as you remember, we can't really give it here chamfer or fillet. It's just uh, weird. So that's why I'm, I'm showing you, you know, oftentimes you work on designs. So yeah, I'm doing here and yeah, I will have to do it here on the top as well. But then you encounter that where you can't give fillets but maybe you want like perfect fillets and and everything the same size. So again, then you will just select this whole loop, Shift D, rebuild this curve with a lot of lot of points. So like 200, you see it's smooth. And again, you give it the P uh, pipe. Section size, it has to be lower. So let's go with one. Uh, select this inside loop here and delete it and select this whole main surface, Shift, the pipe Q to boolean that. And guys, you see, this is exactly what we need again. Yeah. So we have something like that. Yeah. It's a little bit sharp here, but that should work fine. And maybe this piece here we could fix. So we have already a curvature here. Uh, but okay. Let's try it from, from the simples. So again, uh, select those faces and give them a few cuts. So they are basically the same um, here because we can't loft that. So here we have this little piece, but we can't select this whole edge. So we have to break this surface. So select the surface, Control R, and 
do it everywhere around. So where you have an edge, establish a new edge so that, yeah, maybe here that should work. Maybe it's a little bit stretchy, but, uh, let's try. But actually, no, let's add here an extra edge because I want it like very clean. And yeah, okay, here, so that looks a little bit crazy here. So let's try to rebuild this curve maybe a little bit or this uh, angle. So let's first cut this face here and why is this extra, but okay. And this here, so before this curvature starts and let's now just delete all of those pieces. Yes, so let's select those edges, F and bridge edge. And let's go to any view and let's go to G1 and D and just let's rebuild it. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I like this. Yeah, that's okay. And yeah, it's going a little bit inside, but it should work. So now select all of those new edges that we've created and patch holes and give it basically G1 everywhere. Press OK. Yeah, that still looks <clears throat> clean. And also here it will just look a little bit cleaner now, I guess. So let's delete that curve and again select this face, control R, select face, control, control R here. And one more control R here. Or let's see. Oh, okay. We have one more edge. Okay. So let's start with the long ones. So just loft them. And this one and, and this one loft. And also those ones here. And here we can add those two. Yeah, should work. And again, press four, select everything, J. So you just get one continuous sheet. So that looks fine. And alt click this whole thing. Patch, tap, G1. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, alt click, patch, tap, G1. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so beautiful guys. So let's see here. Tap G1. And let's try the last one that we've rebuilt and should work also. So let's patch tap G1. And yeah, it's a little bit sharp. We could fix that, but for now it's fine. So let's have a look. And wow. Guys, yeah, so beautiful. And by the way, if you like what you see and you're interested in learning much more about this whole topic of surface modeling, I have a huge course about surface modeling where we will create from scratch this whole helmet. And yeah, you will learn everything about advanced modeling techniques and 100% we will do everything with surface techniques. And yeah, first link in the description, you can, uh, you can check it out. Here you have all of the information. And it's not just the surface modeling, but as a bonus, a huge section about the whole theory and fundamentals about surface modeling, what tangency G1, G0, G2 is, because yeah, a lot of people doesn't know it. So check out first link in the description. If you want to learn yeah, how to create this absolute beautiful surface transitions, if you just want to learn the super high quality workflows and techniques, because literally there is no one at this moment on point in time, 2023, who is doing even close that kind of quality, which is um, this course. Here you also have some testimonials you can go through and, and completely FAQ. So all of your questions should be answered. First link in the description. I'm super looking forward maybe to see you in there and teach you more about the beauty of surface modeling. Have a nice day. Bye.